This activity can be done inside, but if you're able to step out and meet your tree neighbors, it will enhance the experience. Canadian artist Emily Carr loved to observe the shapes and movements of trees. She referred to their glory, strength, power, tenderness, and protection. Here is Emily Carr's painting Forest Glade. Notice how she's created texture, light, and movement through her brush strokes and colors. The sunny glade stands out amongst the shimmery rhythms of the dense branches. If you're using paints for this activity, you can mix your own palette of tree colors. And if you're outside, it might help you feel looser and freer in your painting. I'm starting at the crown and mapping out the large forms. I think this is a balsam fir. There is space between the branches, which makes it fun to map out. The branches curve downward and then pop up at the tip. Emily Carr spoke of painting the singing movement as a whole. Start to layer your colors to show the shifting shapes of the tree. Maybe your tree is perfectly framed from indoors. Again, mixing your own colors will make your painting more unique. You can stick with the colors you observe or be more expressive. Your mark making is impacted by your environment and posture. Being seated at a table inside produces very different results, likely smaller, tighter brushstrokes. Spend more time looking at your tree than at your paper and look at the unique forms, the way the branches spread out or gather, observe its reach and rootedness and admire its resilience through the seasons. Emily Carr described trees as profoundly solemn yet upliftingly joyous. How do trees make you feel?